going on guys it's your boy apathy back with a brand new video today we're going to be doing a tip video and this is going to be the perfect video for you we're going to be giving you guys three pro aim tips and on top of it i might just give you another little secret tip <laughs> so before we get into the game we're going to be talking about one of the most important things which are the settings now settings are a huge factor when it comes to having good aim for example some players like to play on a high sensitivity some like to play on a very low sensitivity and you have to have a good medium and also the aim assist all that stuff is very important to start off my dead zone is on 0.05 which is the default i used to play on 0.03 but my stick drift has become a lot worse lately i've been using this controller for a long time so i upped it you know to to, to help me with that dead zone um but if you can go slightly lower it is pretty good because it's a little bit looser on the sticks i play on 5.5 sensitivity I really, really, highly, highly recommend 5.5 five to 6.6. Six. Do not play on 4. I feel like 4 is just too slow. Do not play on higher than 6. Try to stay between 5 to 6. Those are like the two best sets you can play on in this game. Uh, trust me, man. Trust me. Low zoom 1.0, high zoom 1.20. Uh, this is for sniping. This is really only, at least applies to me for Warzone. That doesn't really matter. But the, set, the sense is what really matters. And now, this is very, very important. Aim response curve type dynamic. Now, I have you standard. I actually reverted back to standard the other day to try it. It is horrible. Dynamic, you for some reason, you get a little bit extra aim assist, which helps a ton, man. Um, I know there's rumors about dynamic be broken, et cetera, et cetera. Uh, exclusive ace actually kind of debunk a lot of the stuff that people are saying, like, oh, you get no aim assist in certain situations. Dynamic is pretty good. It's pretty fine. It is definitely better than standard. Trust me, you'll notice a difference. It will help you a ton with aim assist. And for aim assist, just regular aim assist, I use standard. Uh, these kind of sometimes make your aim assist too strong and like pulls too much. And then it, it can really mess you up more than it can help you. I know people were talking about focusing. Um, maybe you can use this in Warzone, but if you're playing multiplayer, just stick to standard. All right, now for the next tips, we're going to go into the CDL playlist, get into the lobby. And then let's do it. All right, guys. So we do got some Azir Cave. This is actually perfect. This is a map that I can showcase. You know, longer range gunfights, uh, obviously. Okay, that's an M4. Come on, man. <laughs> I am rocking the MP7. Um, I like the MP5, but especially in a map like Cave, this is like the one map I like running MP7 just because it has a little bit more range. Uh, this whole new meta and like everything that's changed, M4s and ARs are just a little too OP at the moment. But that's completely fine. I'm just going to show you case you guys the how you can have a really good shot. Um, obviously, control everything. Make your shot as precise as possible. And I'll be showing you that with the MP7. We're going to spawn right here. And I'm going to show you guys something real quick. Wait for it. It's an M4 again. <laughs> guys, I don't mean the gases, but the AR, aka the M4, is actually absurd in this new meta at the moment. Like, it's too broken. Like, you, I don't stand a chance at, like, medium to long range. Um, this guy is using a 50 cal. He just, he really just wants to ruin my day. He is laying under the truck. What the? There you go. Nice little beam session. So, for the next tip, tip number two, before I take too much more of your time, like that. And like that. We're going to be talking about using both sticks and using your movement. Yes. So what do I mean by that? Obviously, uh, whenever you're on a head glitch, you can kind of just hold the preem and just move your move your right stick, right? Your right stick, it moves your, uh, your aim, your cursor, whatever you want to say. Uh, it moves it. So you can literally be in a head glitch and just move this, right? Your right stick. But if you ever notice me play and watch me play, even when I'm shooting at someone standing still or I'm just moving, I'm, I'm constantly using my left stick. I just completely messed that up, but okay, I didn't miss a bullet. I'm always using my left stick to move unless on a, I'm on a super head glitch. Then sometimes uh, maybe I'll just hold it. She's still here. So right there, I'm on a head glitch. That's the three piece. I think he's still under me. Yeah, he is. So you saw me get that two piece. I was still on the head glitch. I stayed on the head glitch because you never really want to run off a super head glitch unless they are getting you really weak. Then you can kind of hit like a little strafe to help you uh, stay alive. This guy's going to be in here. No, he's not. He's actually our side. I just lost full. So whenever I'm shooting at someone, especially when I'm out in the open, I use both sticks. I strafe with my left and I shoot with my right. And I kind of like get a little precise with my right. Where's this guy go? That guy's guys are ninjas, man. Nope, not today, buddy. So the reason is, obviously, um, 
In this game, strafing is a little bit slower. It's not as effective, but you it's really good to strafe while you're shooting and like kind of strafe your shot into them. Be right here. Didn't miss a bullet. Nope, not today, buddy. He's gonna spot close. That was a little too close. Too close for my liking. So I'm always strafing left and right when I'm shooting people for the most part. Obviously, like, see right there, I was strafing left. Even though I'm on a head glitch, like, it, people can still easily shoot me off the head glitch, especially in AR. So I want to make it harder for them, but I also want to leave my shot into them. So let's say I'm here. Let's say that's the guy. And I'm here. I'm going to strafe into him. I'm not going to just do this. Like, snap on him my right. I'm going to strafe with it. It makes it easier to, like, kind of track the target and, like, have more precise shots for it. Especially, you know, longer range shots. It's because, like, it's just you're making very little, like, small changes to your shot. Like, very minuscule changes. A beam there. I think it's top of this list. All right, this is actually really hard, but we'll try it. It's just... Oh, my God. He had his knife out. He thought he didn't know I was going to spawn there. It's easy to make. Damn, I took some shots there. It's easy to make small changes when you're strafing because you, your shots, your body's kind of following the person. And then you just got to make little minuscule changes. So then like I'm like this. Oh, okay. I just got to move slightly to left, slightly to right. And especially with a stick, you want to make little changes. You're not playing on mouse and keyboard where you can just swipe to the right, swipe to the left and be very precise. So using both sticks is very important when it comes to... You know, really following your shot and having a good shot. So, like I said, if you only, unless you're in a really good spot in a head glitch, you kind of want to hold just your right. You want to use your right stick. Obviously, you can still move. See, like I can still move a little bit on my left. Um, but whenever I shoot people, whenever I'm running around the map, whenever I, you know, I'm trying to hit good shots, I'm usually 90% of the time using both sticks. And see, like hitting a little strafes. And not only is the strafe super good because it helps you hit your shots a little bit better. It also makes it harder for them to hit their shots. And I'm probably dead. Yeah, I'm dead. Because when you're strafing back and forth, now they actually have to kind of track you. They no longer have to shoot at someone kind of standing still. No. Four piece. Didn't miss a bullet, did I? See how I was strafing left and then right? And it was so hard for him to track me. So that's something that's not really talked about or like, I guess, said much, especially pro players don't really bring it up. Um, and a lot of players, especially like casual players, people who don't play a lot, um, don't really know this tip. So that brings me to tip number three. And I have touched up on this on past YouTube videos, um, but centering is also very important. Why is centering important? It helps you keep your shot on point with your targets at all times. So if you guys don't know what centering is, I'll, I'll touch up on it a little bit, a little bit more. Uh, basically, when you're running around the map and maneuvering around the map, you want to have your your character centered on where the enemy is going to be. So constantly centering, 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 centering back. And you basically want to center your your crosshairs where your enemy is, a, where you're participating your enemy to be. You don't want to just snap around when you're centering because that's where your centering is going to be a little off. And sometimes. Especially, like I said, a controller, sometimes the littlest thing off can be bad for you. Like, if I miss my centering by a little bit, it can absolutely mess my shot, or it can just get me killed. That one second or that little misplace of centering um, can be all the difference. So, you see, I was centering there. I just snapped on them because I didn't see nothing cave. Uh, usually, they can spawn out mid. So, whenever my centering is on point, uh, I tend to notice my shot is incredible um, because I'm just... I'm just ready for them. I'm ready for them. I'm um, able to snap pretty much right away and hit every shot. It's it's ama it's an amazing feeling, man. It really it truly is. Center, 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 center. Amen. My God. We just spawn killed them so. Oh my God! They're just spawning down there. And centering is just so important to be so spot on with centering, especially at the highest level. As you see, I kill this guy. Automatically jump to my right and I center. Try to center on this area. Because usually there's going to be another guy if there's a guy here. Currently sitting at 53 kills. Just absolutely slaying with the MP7. 
so i really recommend like focus on centering practice it um be very steady with your centering be very steady with your aim and you guys see like as soon as i as soon as there's someone on me no i want to grab the oh, i automatically center on that person like he's basically dead almost every single time um every person you've seen me kill uh, i'm not even aimed in I'm, obviously like there's a lot of kills this map that was aimed in what i'm what i'm saying is when i was showing you guys example of centering um a lot of times i was just ready for them like that and i just snapped on them good game for me 56 kills uh crazy kid did really well too on 52. don't forget to like the video of course but let's go on to the secret tip now shall we really quick before you know we end the video that'd be great <laughs> all right guys so those were the three most important tips when it comes to having really good aim uh a lot of the things you, i hope you guys understood was that it's about the small adjustments and really when a controller like having good settings and then just being in an area you know just making it easier on yourself bro like people who try to play too snappy and all over the place especially at a high level you're gonna get destroyed by other pro players who center well who take their time who who use their strafe to like kind of get their shot on like all those little things matter man but for the last secret quick tip guys this is really really important man you gotta play the damn game man you gotta play the damn game but let's go a little bit more in depth with that in that real quick a lot of people know that you have to play more to be better if you just started playing on console and you're not used to controller your shots are probably gonna be a little booty cheeks you definitely got to play more than the average player a lot of people who play the game and you know don't have really good aim wonder why they don't have good aim and there's other players who have a lot better aim than them well they just grind the game they put in a lot of time they work on the little things that I brought up and they just play the, the game to the, so much to the point where their mechanics their you know their movement their 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 fingers on the sticks just feel so good and they're comfortable and they're easy like able to like just hit good shots but in general uh, playing the game helps so much like when i play a lot my shot tends to be more on point uh everything about it my gun skill everything's just so much better i anticipate people more because i know where they're coming from uh that obviously helps a bit uh centering's on point also easier to get like let me explain this a little better when you grind the game and you play it a lot you get into these weird gunfights where your shots just like kind of all over the place because they're either above you or they're below you or they're like you guys kind of come out of nowhere like slide into each other and you get the more you play the more you get used to those awkward and weird gunfights and those weird scenarios or you get used to shooting someone on a specific head glitch because you know how to kind of approach the gunfight because you play you do it so much and then it's just trial and error you die so much to it maybe the head glitch is too good and you figure out what's the best way to approach it or how can I kill this guy off this specific head glitch and you just keep getting better and better and that's like something small but it does help with your aim in, the, in those scenarios so like you know you can't kill this guy on a specific head glitch well over, when you keep grinding you keep playing a lot you start to get used to and start understanding how to kill that guy on a specific head glitch but now apply that to so many different head glitches apply that to so many different spots on the map and then that's where your shot even starts to shine even more than the than the average and then the you know the normal player because now you know how to kill those guys on this head glitches so now not only is your aim good and just normal random gunfights out in the open now you're good at killing a lot of these people on these other head glitches and your aim is good just everywhere which is also goes goes hand in hand with playing the damn game and grinding baby so as always guys thank you so much for all the love in the videos again we've been hitting a thousand plus likes every single video it means a lot to me appreciate you guys if you got this far into the video much love and much respect make sure to drop a like in the video don't forget to subscribe to the channel for some more tips and amazing gameplay comment down below what's the next tip video you'd like me to do i hope you all have a wonderful day and i'll see you guys next time peace out